Hello and welcome to the Lollipop Guild. How are you guys doing today? This is an amazing little challenge for us. It's Handlock Hamlet, and it's uh, it's going to be the heroic challenge. We're going to do no heroes and upgrades only level 2. So remember, that's upgrades down here, not upgrades of your towers. So keep them spread out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get an artillery. We're going to get a mage tower here and a mage tower here. I'm actually going to upgrade this gap pretty reasonably high. And then we're going to get archer towers pretty much everywhere else for the starting of the map. And we're ready, so let's uh, let's go. Now, I also want to get a barracks because there's going to be a lot of these, uh, you know, wolves coming in here pretty fast. But with the magic on the left, or on the right, obviously we're taking those guys down pretty quick because they don't miss at all. That's the nice thing about those guys. They don't miss. So here's my barracks. Uh, obviously, you want to make sure you get a barracks somewhere in the range whenever you have an artillery. Unless you're getting a necromancer tower, then that's okay too. But now you're going to have some pretty darn strong guys coming out on the right side pretty soon. So you're going to wait. You want to wait on your reign of fire for at least a little while. Don't use it right away on these desert stupid desert thugs. This is really, really easy to take care of, especially when you have a mother effing artillery over here, dude. So we're just going to set up the next wave early again. I know normally I don't do that every single time on heroic challenges, but today is going to be perfect. So these first few guys um, are tanky, man. They are super duper tanky. 200 life, and uh, they have armor, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to rain of fire these guys. And with all that extra money, we're going to buy more archers and a mage tower. I feel like a mage tower is definitely a good addition to have, you know, in combination with all these guys. Now, don't forget, you also have some stuff in the back here. So don't think like, oh no, somebody snuck through, we lose the game automatically. No, that's not exactly what happens. Um, so we're ready to set up the next wave already. Um, things are going pretty smoothly. We almost get a random fire back anyways, so, you know, that's not that big of a deal. I think what we're going to do is with our extra money, we're just going to build low-level towers. We're going to get a, uh, a mage tower, I'm going to get a barracks, so we can you know have an archer, a mage, and a barracks back here for anybody who sneaks through. And just get your reinforcements up there and ready to go. Alright, um, so it's seemingly just a big group of guys coming in. That's why I love the artillery. Love it. Let's pile everybody up right there. If anybody sneaks through, guess what? We still got stuff left over. Whoop, da shoot. So I'll build another archer tower, I'll build another mage tower, and I'll build another archer tower. I like having an archer tower in the very, very back, just because if anybody sneaks through, it's got more range and attacks really fast, so it, like, you know, cleans the last bit of guys up. Now, this is going actually a little bit smoother than uh, when I played the heroic challenge for the other level. That was actually kind of problematic for me, so I think I'm ready for the next wave, though, already. Sandhounds. Yeah, let's do it. Sandhounds, screw them. So because my defense is spread out so ridiculously crazy awesome, the Sandhounds are not going to be a big deal at all. And even if there's tons of them trying to sneak through, we got an, one artillery is going to go BOOM and just like annihilate these guys. ba ba big boom But I should probably upgrade my barracks. Alright, so I'm really not planning on using my Reign of Fire here, but if a wolf is going to sneak through, you know, you got to deal with him somehow, right? All right, artillery. Come on, little artillery. You can do it, buddy. So the last wave is going to be a bunch of Dune Raiders and Dune Raiders. Okay. If that's what they want to do to me, they're free to do it. So let's see. Do we need our reinforcements? No, we do not. So we get a ton of money. What are we going to do? Obviously, magic towers all the freaking way, man. Go, 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 magic, go. In fact, even if we wanted to, we could probably sell like our artillery and get like more magic attacks. If we wanted to. I mean, selling is not the perfect option, but it's definitely a nice option. So here we go. We're going to rain fire this big group of guys. It's supposed to be 16 coming out, but the only cool thing about, you know, killing them kind of early like this is you get extra money for extra upgrades. So we're going to get this guy upgraded. Yay! So believe it or not, I'm actually going to move my barracks kind of out of the way. I actually want them to get stuck at this mage tower so we can spread out and actually use all of our attack power. So, um, obviously, like I said, went pretty smoothly. Build all, you know, make sure you're getting enough magic. I know Archer Tower is amazing, but these Heroic and Iron Challenges really do push everything to the limit. So let's make sure we stun these guys a little bit. You know, keep everybody occupied and make sure you're using the maximum amount of towers that you can. And, man, smooth as baby's butt right here. Absolutely. Smooth as the ER that doesn't have any ribosomes. All right, so that's what I'm going to have you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button for me. do appreciate those. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.